In YouTube, you can control the playback speed of a video by hovering over the video, going to the gear icon, and then going to playback speed, and you can play it faster, or if you want to, play it slower. The problem is Edpuzzle doesn't let you control the video speed by default, um, but it's really useful to be able to listen to the video at the speed that you most naturally process. So I'm gonna show you a Chrome extension that you can install that will let you change your playback speeds inside Edpuzzle. Unfortunately, this only works in Chrome. Um, it should work on a Mac or a PC, but I haven't found a way to do this outside of Chrome. So here's what you do. If you search for video speed controller Chrome, the top hit should be uh, at the chrome.google.com URL. And this icon that's got the red box with the arrows, that's the extension you want to install. And all you have to do is click add to Chrome. This is a fairly alarming message. It says it can read and change all your data on the websites you visit. Um, it is actually safe to install this extension. Um, the reason why it says this is because it has to actually um, change the code for the web page uh, by searching through it to see if it contains a player and change some of the code for how the player works. Um, but it is a safe extension to install, install and it's not going to track any of your information. So that's it. Uh, as soon as you've done that, you've installed it. So if you're lucky and you don't have a ton of Chrome extensions, you should see the Chrome extension added up here. If you don't see it, wait until the end of the video and I'll show you something you can do that will let you be able to see it. Um, but in order to use it, step one is go to Edpuzzle. Once you have a video inside Edpuzzle, this is the teacher view, I don't know what the student view looks like, but I do know this will work on the student view. You should see the playback speed here faintly in the upper left hand corner because it's transparent. Right now it's one, which means normal speed, but you can hit the plus key to increase the speed or the minus key to decrease the speed. If you don't see this control in the upper left hand corner, all you have to do is click the actual extension icon up here and it will say, well, mine doesn't say it, but yours will say reload this page to activate the extension and then you just click the button and it should work. If you click on the settings, it will show you some hotkeys. So you can use S to decrease the speed, D to increase the speed, and you can set uh, the amount that it increases and decreases by, and there's some other shortcuts as well. Um, so if you're interested in that kind of thing, you can do that. The other note I have is that this only appears to work if your teacher uploaded a video not through YouTube. So if your teacher used a YouTube video to add to Edpuzzle, um, this extension doesn't seem to work. However, I will be uploading videos so that it does work. Okay, that's it, unless you have the problem where you can't actually see the extension up here. So if you're having that problem, um, here's a great way to solve your problems. If you can use the right vocabulary, search for the exact question you wanna know the answer to. So if you can't see the Chrome extension icon up here, you can search literally for uh, can't see, sure, can't see extensions in Chrome. And the top hit is gonna be a solution for you. So if you click here, it says go to Chrome slash slash flags in the URL bar, which looks like this. And then it says search in the page for, uh, or rather search for extensions and then dis disable extensions menu. So again, let's go here. I'm gonna do control F to search for extensions, or maybe I'll do this. I'll click in here and search for extensions. And now I'll search in the page for extensions menu. Oh, here it is, it's right at the top. So extensions, toolbar, menu, and I have mine disabled, but yours may be default or enabled. So as soon as you make that change, if you go back and you, uh, you might have to reload Chrome, I think, but uh, you should be able to see the icon. Okay, good luck.